Okay guys, uh, what's up? I want to do a quick video about these Red Redivis RT10 radios because um, I think they're a pretty cool option for people who maybe don't want to mess with getting a ham license or GMRS license or um, they want just a, you know, a fire team communication that will work inside a building, outside a building, etc. So these, the reason I like these, like I said, not particularly because they're super robust I mean they're not they're not bad build quality wise um, by any means um, they're not a Baofeng but they are not you know they're not a Motorola either uh, however they do offer a lot of value for the money and let me talk about that so for on eBay you can get these RT10s for I think uh, all five of these with chargers that are USB chargers by the way uh, for I think 341 bucks free shipping so not bad at all um, and they are fully encrypted and they are digital and because they operate on the 900 megahertz ISM band they actually don't require a license because they only transmit like less than one watt um, so again the range on these probably isn't super great but line of sight is probably not super bad either I'll do some more testing on that later but with with in assaulting a building I think it's uh, great because they they do penetrate walls very well um, but the, but because these are very basic and they don't have a display, for example, this digital radio has a display, and you can you know select an individual person to call, and you can contact them, and all kinds of cool stuff that you could do with a screen, like text messaging that you can't do with this. However, because this has eight zones and sixteen channels per zone, you can assign each channel to do an individual function. Um, so let me demo that real quick. I think this they're all set up on zone two to have. Um, channel 6 which is all these radios it's a, it's a group call to all the radios and then channels 1 through 5 is an individual call to each radio so let me demo that real quick so you can you see can the receive the lights, lights are all on, calling, calling all stations. all stations but if I just wanted to call an individual station each of these is numbered and so I can Five, maybe four. call radio 4 this is an individual, individual call, call to radio, radio 4, 4 radio, radio 4, four. Uh, so Radio 4 will hear me individually, but if he transmits back, everybody will hear me unless he changes to channel 5, which is an individual call to this radio. All those channels are the same frequency, it's just a different radio ID that they're trying to contact, or all the radios at once. Um, that's much easier to do with a radio with a screen, like I said, but for someone who's maybe not good at radios, it's easier just to tell them, hey, if you want to reach team member 5, go to channel 5 and call you know so it, it's not the end of the world additionally what I've done here I don't know if you can see these stickers it's actually an NFC tag and you can get like 50 of these NFC tags for around I think 11 bucks or something uh, don't quote me on the price exactly but they're not basically they're not expensive and they could hold up to 500 characters so all you gotta do is um, you'll just hold like a phone up to it read the tag I don't know if you guys can see that it just tells you all the channels and what and the zones and what they do and how to use this radio. So in addition to a writ, written it down on here, I also have all the channels and zones on this sticker. And you could rewrite the sticker, so if you change your programming, just use your phone to rewrite the sticker. I know you can do it with Android phones. I don't know about Apple. They might have caught up um, to all the jazz. But um, like I said, even though the range is not great, like say you're an assault team, going to work on a building you're going to have good comms within the building so maybe your team leader has an additional radio that he reaches back to the talk or someone else with uh, this is another radio we got to talk about also that does crossband repeat on dmr which is a cool function because you could spoof the location of the talk by talking back to another relay radio um but that's actually how it works in the military i know in the military we had these cool marconi radios that um, sometimes had two ptt's and one was for um, you know the tox frequency one was for the fire team using these little um, inter fire team radios with this little headset kind of a, a, a crazy setup back in the days so I think this is, these came from the UK uh, you can still get these on eBay actually if you can find some that work but um, kind of ahead of its time but this is like you can consider this to be something like this like an inter fire team radio and then you could reach back to the squad leader with a radio like this or the talk um, so kind of cool that you can get these for 340 bucks for all these, and they're digital and they're encrypted, and they require no licensing. So you can go crazy.